This video has been made possible by Rebus Farm, the professional render service. Hey guys, and welcome back to a new video. Well, today we're going to jump into Substance Painter 2.41 to be exact, and we're going to check out generators. And generators allow you to create some very cool effects on your textures, such as uh, metal edgeware and so on. Okay, so let's check it out. Here we go. Hey guys and welcome back. Well, we're in Substance Painter 2.41 and in this short tutorial I'm going to explain to you guys how to use generators in Substance Painter. Okay, so I loaded up a model of a lunchbox that I did a while back and as you can see I already applied some uh, textures and materials to the handle up here and to the latch in front and I'm going to show you guys how to apply a generator to the main box here. Okay. Now I would like that lunch box to uh, look like it's uh, painted, but I also want to see some wear and uh, scratches and so forth on the surface so we can see the bare metal underneath. Okay. So kind of scratch the off paint, if you will. All right. So what I need to do first is I need to make sure that I'm working on the correct layer. So I got all my materials here and I know for a fact that the top one here, if I turn that off, that's the main body. Okay. So that's the one I'm going to work on. Select that. And I'm going to start off by selecting the layer that's underneath, which is a regular steel. So I'm just going to select steel, drag that in, and there we go. And as we do that, you can see that it has applied the steel material, which is cool. Okay, so next what we're going to do is we're going to apply our paint to this. And we're going to put the paint onto our model. Okay, so I'm just going to type in paint, which will give us painted steel. And I'm just going to drag that in and underneath. Okay. Now, the reason why we're not seeing it is because that steel is covering the uh, paint completely as far as the hierarchy is concerned in this layer here. So what we want to do is we want to apply a mask to our steel. So I'm going to select my steel layer and I'm going to um, go up to uh, actually I can do it here as well. Right click and go to add a black mask. And when I do that, it covers the entire metal layer. So we see paint everywhere. Okay. Now, if I take a white brush right now and I go over this surface, as I do that, you will see that it will bring back that steel that's underneath. Okay. I'm going to hit control Z because I don't want to do this manually. I want to use a generator and that's what this is for. Okay. So now that this uh, is applied, I can uh, select this and go up to add effect and then select add generator. And when I do that, I get the option here to select what type of generator I want. So I'm just going to click on this one. And here you have a number of options you can choose from. Uh, let's see, we got uh, some kind of grayscale going on here, uh, dirt and so forth. I want to use the one down here, which is a metal edge wear. And again, this is a preset that has been saved. So when you do that, based on the curvature map, it will look for locations where it can add edgeware. Okay. So we're just going to click on that. And as we do that, immediately you see the very cool effect of anything that is, has edges is poking out, so to speak, will have that wear. Okay. Now, what if you are not happy with how this looks? What you can do is select that and let's play with the settings a little bit. Okay. So for example, the wear level, let's see, we're going to bring that way down until it's almost non-existing. You see some very, very slight scratches on the corners there. And then you can bring that way, way up all the way to almost bare metal. Okay. Now don't overdo it. Let's do something like this. And then let's see what else we have a contrast that we can play with, which is kind of neat. And again, don't overdo that. Just make that barely visible. Okay. So what else? Uh, grunge amounts. Okay. Again, cool slider to play with. Now what's uh, important here is that we need to uh, make sure that it looks realistic. And this is different on each model. So depending on what you're going for, you need to kind of eyeball that and see if that will bring you the effect that you're looking for. Right. But there are a bunch of things here that you can use to uh, tweak it. Okay. You got a, the grunge scale, for example, 
if you want a different pattern there, okay? I'm gonna bring that back because I kind of liked the way we had it. And that's pretty much all there's to it. So yeah, uh, if you have any questions, as always, uh, let me know. And uh, that said, thank you guys for watching. See you guys next time, bye.